looking at Francois Boucher's The Marquis de Pompadour. So I have to, before we go into it, just say that I don't really like Rococo paintings, but I really like this one. There's something really so what is beautiful it? about it. I'm taken in by the pink ruffles and the lace and the cameo on her wrist and the poof that she's using to powder herself and the flowers on the bottom and the pink of her cheeks and the blue bow in her hair and the little pink at the end of the brush that she's using to put on her blush. I mean, <laughs> it's just okay, really so yummy. Let, so let's talk about those things for just a moment because they really do catch the eye. The lace and the... And and the pink ribbons have a kind of almost architectural quality to them that's yeah. really extraordinary. Yeah, they're they very have, have a kind of real volume to them. They have volume and structure, and you can feel the weight and the stiffness of the fabric. And, and the poof is the opposite of that. And there's <laughs> tremendous focus, of course, on the cameo on her wrist because it's a, it's a portrait of her lover, of, King Louis the Fifteenth. That's right, of France. But then contrast that with the rendering of her face, of her head, which is sort of impossibly soft and sort of reformed. Look at the size of the eyes in comparison to the size of the, of the mouth. She's become a child. That's true. I hadn't thought of that. It's almost as if we're looking at Japanese cartoons. What are those called? Anime. Uh, I mean, it's certainly not about her personality. No. and who she was and her humanity in any real no, way. No, it's, it's her persona. Yeah, right? it's her persona. And, and that's to me, that's what the whole painting is about. It's just about artifice. Oh. It's like the artifice of the French court in mm, the 18th excellent. century in the Rococo mm -hmm. period. It's about the artifice of the clothing, of the makeup. It's just about surface. It's true, but this is a very intimate kind of surface, isn't it? And, and Well, so that the, it's the king's lover in that way? Yeah, and yeah. also just the, the, the sense of proximity. That's if true, we we're feel very as, close to her. Yeah, we feel as if we can reach out. Is, um, or her best friend and she's about to share an intimate secret. That's exactly right. But then her eye rises up across her wrist, over the portrait of her lover, across her breast, up to the, her neck, and then finally we get to her face, which seems sort of almost remote. The first thing that I noticed was all of those accessories of artifice. And then I looked at her face, you know, I read the label, okay, this is the mistress to Louis the Fifteenth, and then I thought, who is this woman? I looked at her face for clues, mm -hmm. and I, I didn't get anything. Yeah. The sense of clarity with which the artifice, as you, as you put it, is, is painted against the softness and the indeterminacy of her individuality is, I think, clearest in the collar. Look how incredibly crisp, almost frozen, mm -hmm. that collar is. And then look at the softness. But there is this wild sense of indeterminacy and, and mystery, I think. Mm -hmm. 